Thousands of years ago, in what is now southern Iraq, between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, the Sumerians established a civilization that was somewhat like to Silicon Valley in its earlier days. Sumerians developed new technologies and mastered the widespread use of pre-existing ones in what the Greeks subsequently named Mesopotamia. They also changed the way people produced food, constructed homes, interacted with one another, and kept track of time and information. Perhaps the true genius of the Sumerians was their organizational skills. They were capable of taking inventions that were created elsewhere and putting them to much greater use. In this manner, they could manufacture textiles and ceramics in large quantities for trade with other people. The highly advanced society we live in today was developed as a result of the advancements made by the Sumerians, which expanded throughout time. Here are seven areas where Sumerians have left their imprint. Number one, mass-produced pottery. The Sumerians invented the turning wheel, a tool that allowed them to create pottery in large quantities, but other ancient peoples still made it by hand. This allowed them to produce a great deal of goods, including worker ration containers, kind of like an old-fashioned version of Tupperware. Number two, writing. The Sumerians are said to have been the first people to create a writing system, though this is not 100% proven. In any case, it is certain that by 2800 BC, they were using written communication but their goal was to keep track of the products they were producing and selling, not to compose great literature or document their history. In their initial messages, all they write are numbers and goods. They accomplished that by using a system of pictographs, which were basically illustrations of different objects. They eventually started combining pictographs to convey concepts and actions. Over time, the pictographs developed into symbols representing sounds and words. The symbols were inscribed by scribes into wet clay using sharpened reeds, and the clay dried to produce tablets. The writing system that became known as cuneiform was utilized for 2,000 years throughout the Middle East before being used by other civilizations. Number 3. Hydraulic Engineering the Sumerians discovered a way to gather and direct the rich silt that was left over after the Tigris and Euphrates rivers overflowed, and they used this water and fertilizer for their agricultural crops. They created intricate networks of canals with mud, palm trunk, and reed dams that had movable gates that could be opened or closed to control water flow. Number 4. Mathematics Although early humans counted by making notches on bones or other primitive methods, the Sumerians were the first to create a formal numbering system based on units of 60. Initially, they kept track of the units using reeds, but as cuneiform developed, they finally turned to using vertical marks on clay tablets. Their system contributed to laying the foundation for later cultures' mathematical computations. Number 5. Metallurgy some of the first people to employ copper to produce tools, such as chisels, razors, and spearheads, were the Sumerians. They also worked with copper to create striking panels that portrayed fanciful creatures like an eagle with a lion's head. The temperature in the reed-heated furnaces used by Sumerian metallurgists was managed by bellows that they could operate with their hands or feet. Number 6. The Chariot Although they did not create wheeled vehicles, the Sumerians are thought to have created the first two-wheeled chariot, where a driver guided a group of animals. There is proof that the Sumerians employed these kinds of carts for transportation back in the 3rd millennium BC, but it is more likely that they were utilized for military purposes or ceremonial purposes than as a way to move throughout the countryside, where the unpaved surface would have made wheeled mobility challenging. Number 7. Mass-Produced Bricks The Sumerians invented clay brick molds in order to compensate for the lack of stones and wood needed to build homes and temples. They weren't the first to employ clay for construction, but their capacity to make bricks in big quantities and assemble them on a big scale is what makes their work innovative. 
Even if their structures weren't as strong as stone ones, they were still able to construct more of them and expand their towns. 